All right, everybody, I told you earlier that we would have a delay in today's weather because we're testing out some super cool new technology, but it means I can do weather anywhere. Your cabin, my cabin, a lake, uh, a festival once we can have those again, so pretty cool stuff. So that's the seven day explaining all that, of course, because a big holiday weekend is on the way. And one of the culprits to our holiday weekend, and for really a lot of the country, is this same cutoff storm system that we've been talking about all week long. So we're gonna talk about that, dive into what that's doing. But we're also talking about NOAA's hurricane forecast for the season is out, and it's not good. They're forecasting a very active hurricane season, more named storms, and we'll tell you about how climate change plays into that as well. So remember our storm system from the weekend that created all the rain and some crummy weather and flooding in Michigan? Yeah, it's moved from basically southern Wisconsin on Sunday to now Kentucky. This is the very definition, textbook definition of a cutoff low, uh, an upper level low that just is not in the mainstream of movement and uh, continues to just spin. But you also see another spin here off to the west, uh, northwest of us. It's a bigger system, another upper level cutoff low. Uh, in Western Canada. So these two are kind of converging and uh, interesting setup where we have this conveyor belt of cloud cover you can see coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And this is our weekend weather and that's why it is not looking uh, per exactly stellar. Uh, definitely unsettled, but it's not going to be a horrible weekend. Some folks today actually saw some sunshine too. Uh, actually, if you're in the Northeast Metro, places like Scandia, Forest Lake, and up towards uh, uh, Chisago and into Northwestern Wisconsin, they saw sunshine and temperatures are much warmer in the 70s there today too. So uh, it all depends upon where you are. Uh, cloud bank though for most of the metro and that's kept temperatures cool below the 70 degree mark. Of course, everybody wants to know about the weekend weather. Tomorrow looks mostly dry. So if you're headed up to the cabin today or tomorrow, shouldn't run into rain for most of central and eastern minnesota but as we head into tomorrow we're going to start to see some isolated very isolated showers or thunderstorms mostly in western minnesota maybe a stray one in western wisconsin and then a better chance comes overnight into southwestern minnesota and then maybe in the metro this is early saturday morning we're seeing a couple of showers but it is very isolated i want to stress that here's midday saturday very hit and miss and in between there will be some sunshine here i want to show you uh, the forecast cloud cover and you can see what we're dealing with here, which is a very summer-like pattern. So at least we've gotten that far, where it's gonna be warm, uh, just with some instability, but temperatures still be in the 70s, and we'll have enough peaks of sun tomorrow. Again, more clouds than sun, same thing on Saturday, but I think Saturday or Sunday could be one of those days that kinda, you know, just turns out to be okay in the afternoon. Probably not both of them, but one of the days could see uh, a little bit of sunshine peak out and then we're going to pop up to near 80 degrees. Sunday looks like the best chance of that. And then as we head into uh, Sunday, here's what we're looking at. Uh, early morning looks mainly dry, but again, just want to stress, don't pay attention to the specific locations, but just the isolated uh, and spotty nature of showers and thunderstorms. So there will be some around. Most of us are not going to see a, a washout, however, but there is going to be uh, definitely some instability around the area. As far as those high temperatures go, Saturday we're looking at temperatures mostly in the 70s, pretty much no matter where you go except for the North Shore. Of course, it's going to be much cooler in the 50s and 60s right near the lake. Uh, and then as we get into Sunday, again, that's the better chance of seeing enough peaks of sun, a little warmer air, that temperatures could uh, push up into the 80s here for the Twin Cities, even into western Wisconsin, and still warm, uh, just not as warm in northern Minnesota temperatures there, mostly in the 70s. So here it is, best chance of rain. Again, Sunday will be warmer with more peaks of sun, but that also means we have a better chance of some pop-up thunderstorms. Saturday and Memorial Day, pretty isolated hit and miss. Sunday, uh, maybe a couple more around, uh, and then heading into next week, looking warmer and uh, a little bit brighter. Okay, I wanna talk about a few things here today, uh, at least quickly, but I got three main points couple of them are related, uh, but we want to talk about the official hurricane season forecast came out from uh, NOAA for the Atlantic hurricane season, and they're forecasting a more active than normal season. Not very surprising. We've already seen our first named storm 
earlier than normal. Uh, the big takeaway here, three to six major hurricanes forecasted, which is pretty incredible. And uh, a new climate change study this week came out showing that uh, indeed, yet another study showing that indeed we are seeing storms become more intense here as a result of climate change, increased heat in the oceans. That probability of major hurricane status, category three or higher, is increasing 8% per decade for the last 40 years. So that is a big increase in the probability of a storm reaching that major status. Speaking of heat, uh, we are looking at uh, the summer forecast, uh, the fresh one out from NOAA, forecasting equal chances of cooler or warmer than normal conditions. So uh, maybe a wash, maybe we're looking at a normal summer, which I think we'd all be fine with. Uh, but it looks like the Southwest, East Coast, and Alaska could be looking at warmer than normal temperatures, but we are looking at summery weather here heading into the weekend with temperatures in the 70s, again, close to 80 degrees. So it is going to be warm and it's going to be humid too, but uh, a little unsettled with some at least spotty showers or thunder and uh, more clouds than sunshine.